Check Shot Reality, WrestleZone.com, at Josh Eisenberg4 on Twitter. Tweet me your thoughts, especially what I'm about to say, because now it is time for NXT in 90. NXT in 90 this past week featured Nikki Cross and Ruby Riot really developing their match, which is now a triple threat match for the NXT Women's Championship at NXT TakeOver Chicago with the injury of Ember Moon. I love it. Nikki Cross stole it for me. She did great. It was creative. Keep her insane character developing. And Ruby Riot, a very punk rock looking girl. These two women are slowly but surely getting up to the level of Asuka. So when Asuka leaves in the summer, one of these two women will take the crown as the queen of NXT. DIY took on Riddick Moss and Tina Sabatelli. Big, physical, but young heels put on a good match. DIY versus the Authors of Pain. One more time in NXT Chicago in a ladder match. I'm looking forward to that. But how about a great 15 to 17 minute main event between Roderick Strong and Hideo Itami. The winner, Hideo Itami, who he will face Bobby Roode at NXT TakeOver in Chicago. Chicago GTS, Hideo Itami. I'm pretty sure WWE tried to make that as eerie as possible without bringing up the name uh, nope, I'm not going to bring it up either. It was an excellent match. You showed so much adrenaline and enthusiasm from both guys. And it was just pure, old school, physical, with a sprinkle of athleticism, a sprinkle of originality from both men on the offensive side. I'm looking forward to Hideo Itami versus Bobby Roode. It is a bridge for Bobby Roode to face some other guys. Actually, some other guys who aren't even on the card right now. Drew McIntyre, potentially, but not on the card, not announced match. Aleister Black, not an announced match. And you also have Cassius Ono, not an announced match. This is a problem. This is why NXT should have had a pay-per-view in June. Give them seven to eight weeks for August. It's too quick, too soon. They're going to put on great matches. They're going to put on a great pay-per-view. They always do. I'm looking forward to it. But give them more time because you're missing out on these big guys at NXT TakeOver in Chicago with a great storyline. Speaking of missing out, the Washington Capitals number one fan, Justin Labar. Justin, has your liver recovered yet? No, my liver has not recovered, but it doesn't matter if I'm just going to uh, sit and sulk in depression. I've never won in a Stanley Cup. Thank you, Josh. NXT and 90. Put it away. I'm tired of seeing the shirt. It's tired of seeing the shirt. What? Tired. Tired, tired, tired. Drew Springsteen, Justin Labar, still here with you this weekend. All right, Drews, let's talk about your boy. Your boy. Shins... Oh, excuse me. The artist oh known my God. I don't know. as Shinsuke Nakamura. You don't like this artist Prince known? Ikea. Prince Ikea. <laughs> artist woman as gold dust? Yeah. yeah. I don't how know. How are they doing? How On a scale of one to five, five being the best, how are they doing... So far with this uh, Nakamura on SmackDown Live. 4.99 and then that, that little nickname. The artist. Don't, they don't, why do they need that? It's he's just a little of an identifier. He's an artist. He, he had a match. He, he's an artist. We haven't even had a match No, he's yet. an artist because you're going to see. He's going he's gonna, to oh. use that canvas like Rembrandt. <laughs> he's going to paint us a great picture. He's going to paint us, yes. Oh. You thought that Owens Jericho picture was great? You're going to see Rembrandt in there. That's, that's it. <laughs> I don't know. I get it. I, it's all going to come down to the match. I think he's going to kill it on there, and maybe he doesn't. You know, nickname isn't a big deal. Maybe they drop it. I don't know. Why do they come up with it? Do you like the Do you like the the anticipation before he has his first televised? Match? Yes, I like that they've done it. Because like, I remember when I was there at the first SmackDown when he uh, debuted, they said that they were going to have a match, and I was like, Oh, right here, right now. Nope, we're going to wait. I think uh, yeah, I think it's been a, a good call on the fact that they have uh, built this up. It, it kind of makes it seem like a big deal. You know, of course, he is working non-televised uh, matches with Dolph Ziggler to get their, I'm sure, to get their timing and everything down. And, you know, as I've said in the past, I think it's a good call here. I think you got Dolph Ziggler who, who can sell and make anything oh. look even better, and that's only going to uh, further, um, you know, enhance the effectiveness of the strong style, of the, and the intensity of the Chinsuke Nakamura. Him. Yeah, it, I mean, Dol Dolph's Dolph right to the head. His head's going to fly off in the audience. I think it's going to be, and, and again, Dolph's a guy who he's been able to successfully switch from heel to face over the years. Uh, it's also another one of those, because of the strong style and the selling thing, one of those dream matches you would have been like, oh, well, if Nakamura ever comes over to the States and does stuff, it'd be a fun little match. Well, now we're good to yeah. see it. And uh, it, it is interesting, though. I, I, I'm still going to be very cautious to watch how they, how much speaking they asked Nakamura yeah. to do. Even this past week, well, there was an artist. He can just paint a picture. <laughs> That's true. His, you know, other, you know, other ways in the ring. It doesn't have to do with his voice. Yeah, and you know, I mean, I know some people have complained about like, you know, what he's speaking with the mouth guard in. Uh, just this past week, he had, he had this one point where he said a sentence about get a referee out oh, here. Yeah. And you could tell the, the crowd didn't react. I, I think there was a confusion of what he said. I even had a second that I had to like do a double take and interpret what he, uh, you know, how it came off. Because he has a mouth guard in, he has an accent. 
but <laughs> he's not making it easy on himself. <laughs> not. No one understands me. Let me put a whole bunch of stuff on that line. No one can hear me. Yeah, but I, I, I think overall, I, I'm, I'm excited. I think, I think that. I am too. I think that's to me, that's the focal point of. Well, I don't, to you, it's Jinder uh, Mahal. I don't to know. To me, back Wait, Jinder or Nakamura. I wow. This, this is a big one for you. If the Young Bucks come in, I, I can't watch. And just can't su- watch they super kick the Singh brothers. Oh well then, boy. Yeah. I don't. Now I, you're thinking. I can't. I don't know if I can watch. What would you rather? Home. The Penguins win another Stanley Cup, or do you get to like have a breakfast with the Young Bucks? Well, we're gonna see the Penguins win the Stanley Cup. So, oh, if I can have both, why not? Share shot reality. WrestleZone.com. We got one more video coming up for you. And again, if you're gonna be in. New Hampshire or New England, anywhere in the surrounding New England area. <laughs> anywhere. Come, 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 come on out. Come join me. Information's right here below. I'll be in Manchester, New Hampshire, where SmackDown Live is this Tuesday. And speaking of SmackDown Live, we're going to talk about Rusev. He's coming to Manchester, New Hampshire to SmackDown Live this week as well. You're so excited for me. Crush. Hampshire.